Hey, and welcome back to Ontario Vintage Tractor. If it's your first time tuning in, my name is Rick, and uh, if it's not your first time tuning in, you'll recognize this tractor behind me. This is uh, Andrew from Butler Outdoors Case. Um, we just did a split on it, joined it back together. If you go back through a few videos, you'll see it. Um, I'm going to cover today, this tractor has hydraulics aftermarket put on it that you couldn't actually order with the tractor when it was new. So uh, we're going to take you through on how we put a loader on this tractor and put hydraulics on it. So it obviously makes the tracks are much more useful. Stay tuned. Here we go. All right, so because this case Model S never came with any hydraulics, first thing we're going to need is a hydraulic pump. So what we did for that, there's numerous ways you can do it. You can add an auxiliary pump off the belt drive on the engine, or there is what's called a Charlin pump that they had back in the day. Um, basically what this does is it mates to the PTO shaft on the tractor. Um, it's a hydraulic pump and reservoir all in one. Um, that way there's nothing else to deal with. You run a couple of lines to the cylinders and every time you run the PTO on a tractor you can use your hydraulics so that's how this one's done it's very simple uh, as long as you don't plan on using the tractor for any PTO work anymore uh, it's a great solution uh, if you're going to use it for PTO work you're gonna want to go with a engine driven pump so what we have to do is remove this shield right here to be able to bolt on the hydraulic unit to the factory PTO shaft so let's get started. All right, so the first thing we have to do is remove the six bolts holding the shield on. So these bolts protrude right into the gearbox. So what we'll do when we mount this, we will go ahead and put thread sealer on these. That way none of the oil seeps out. Next step, we're gonna go ahead and take a wire brush to this PTO shaft and get that all cleaned up. Get some lube on there and uh, we'll get the pump into place. So we're gonna go ahead and put some anti seize on the PTO shaft because we ever need to take this apart again. Slides on just the way it should, nice and easy. And put some leak seal on that. <clears throat> Apparently we have to flatten that out a little bit. So this piece is all raised up. That's nothing a sledgehammer is not gonna fix. Right now, it won't clear the pump. Screwed. 
but it's effective. Alright, now we try and put the pump back on. So the hose is on the pump. We'll tighten it up once it's fully up there. And uh, we'll get this thing seated. See why they didn't like that in there. Good. <clears throat> Alright, so the next thing we have to do is join our PTO coupler down here. Um, you'll notice two different ends and they've got to fit together. These are rubber insulated. Um, I can't get the the actual proper coupler for the Charlin pump. I mean, you might be able to. I couldn't find one, so this is how it's going to work. We'll use some silicone lube to put it together. That way we don't hurt any rubber components. And it slides together just nice. And then we tighten this down, and that's it. It's locked in. And that's that. We'll give her a spin, check it, make sure it's true and sitting where it should be. It looks pretty good to me. So at this point, we'll go ahead and tighten up our line and then we can get to running the rest of the hydraulic lines to the cylinders. I've already gone ahead and put thread sealer on this because they're not... Uh, they're not JSC, they're not O-ring boss, they're just regular pipes, so it seals on the thread, so you want to use some sealant. Not a lot though, because you don't want to get it into your system either. <clears throat> Alright, that's attached. Alright, well we got all the lines on, plumbed, cylinders are attached, we'll tie them up like we did in the video where uh, we brought it, first brought it home. But uh, I'll show you what we did here. So this is your Charlin hydraulic pump reservoir assembly. Fluid goes on the top. I'm going to make them a nicer handle than this. Um, we got a new main feed line. Now these aren't dual hydraulics. Uh, they're only single acting, so it's uh, hydraulic pressure up, gravity down. But uh, for what Andrew's going to do, it's going to work out perfect for him. Uh, so there's the new line. It plumbs all the way up to the front here. Uh, like I said, these are just some old Alice cylinders I had kicking around. Uh, his leaked like a sieve, so we're going to get that fixed up. And they tee off together here. One goes across the tractor over to the other side, into the other cylinder. This one down to here. And that's it. So it's a, a very, very simple setup. And uh, when we get the loader hooked up, when I take it back to him, we're going to film that as well. So um, that's going to do it for this episode of Ontario Vintage Tractor. If you could like and subscribe here for us, uh, it'd be real great. We'd appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.